Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about what is topology. It's really helpful to do any model with perfect edge loop and mesh flow. Stay tuned. Before that, if you won't subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on this red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. We post weekly free videos about Maya 2017, Arnold, modeling, texturing and lighting. So if you won't subscribe, click this red color subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. What is topology? My point of view, when you do modeling, your corner edge must be in loop. What does that mean? I will explain with an example. Before that, you need to download the example files. So it's really helpful for you for loan topology. I will provide the link below the description box. So after you copy this link and paste in your browser, you need to download. So it's just a 6 MB file. So after you download, you got this file, topology examples. Now go to Maya and go to file and choose open. So in this case I will go my desktop. So I will open this topology examples. Okay, after you download you got this files. I will provide five example for loan topology. So select the first example. So I will select this one and press F to focus. See here. It's a simple queue. I will insert two edge loop over here. If I take insert edge loop tool, if you add insert edge loop in anywhere in center, it will come around all the way. So see here, all the 360 degree. So that means when I double click on this edge, it will select the entire edge. So it's called edge loop or mesh flow. But if I select in this top region, when I double click on this edge, so it will stop on this corner. So because see here in this corner edge will not flow upwards. So it will stops over here. So how to fix this right click and choose face. So select this three face. Shift right click and choose extrude face and press R and scale in mid. Now you able to see this corner edge flow upwards. That means when I double click on this edge, the corner edge will be flow all the way. It's called edge loop or mesh flow. So now you understand what is topology. You need to maintain all the edge corner must be in loop. So we will see in example 2 also. Now I zoom out and select the example 2 and press F in keyboard to focus this one. So in this example, when I double click on this corner edge, so it will stops over here because the corner edge will not flow upwards on all corners. So top and bottom side, so it will stops over here. So how to fix this, right click and choose vertex mode. So select this vertex, shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose target well tool. You need to click and drag this vertex to here. So you need to weld this vertex on this corner and this corner. So now I go my edges. So now you able to see this corner edge flow upwards. When I double click on this edge, it will flow all the way to here but it will stop on this edge here also you need to fix right click and choose vertex select this vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex tool and choose target well tool here you need to fix like this click and drag over here like this so you need to fix on all other corners
so now you able to see all corner edge will be flow upwards when I double click on this corner edge so it will flow all the way to 360 degree on bottom side also so now I double click on this edge shift to double click on this edge so this is maintaining the perfect edge loop or mesh flow so I will select all this corners and shift right click and choose bevel so I will reduce my fraction amount and give segments to 2 now right click and choose object mode sorry I will undo that so I want to select this edge also so bevel edge and give fraction amount to 0 0.1 and segment to 2 so now I go to object mode press 3 in keyboard so now it's perfectly smooth and also we maintain perfect topology ok now zoom out a little bit and select this example 3 and press F to focus so I will zoom in so in this example I want to maintain some edge sharpness so when I press 3 so it will be over smooth but I need to maintain some edge sharpness so when I press 1 so double click on this corner edge so it will flow all the way here 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 and also here here but in top edge it will ends with this corner because the corner edge will not flow upwards but all other edge you will able to see this corner edge will flow upwards so we need to fix this manually right click and choose face so select the top face shift right click and choose extrude face and press R and scale in mid so now our corner edge flow upwards or all other direction when I double click on this corner edge it will flow all the way so now I select all my edge loops on this corner so now I want to bevel this edge and give fraction to 0 0.2 and give segments to 2 now right click and choose object mode when the object selected press 3 in keyboard so this is what we expect so I will maintain some edge corner edge sharpness so it also maintaining perfect mesh loop or edge flow on all other corners so like this so now right click and choose object mode ok now zoom out a little bit and select the example core and press F to focus so see here when I press 3 in keyboard this edge corner have much smoother but I want to maintain some sharpness when I press 1 double click on this edge so it will stop this corner over here because this corner edge will not flow upwards so we need to fix it manually using multi cut tool so shift right click and choose multi cut tool so I want to cut sorry I want to cut from this corner so like this you want to do it manually using multi cut tool So when I reach my last corner right click and click on this vertex and click on this vertex and right click. So see here 
after you use multi cut tool you will face some problem so here we find an ingons so what is ingons the single face has more than four edge it's called ingons so see in the space you will find one two three four and five edge and also in this space you will facing trice so that means you got only three edge on the space so how to fix this select this both vertex and shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so that means our trice will be clean and also our end gown will be clean so that means in the space you got only four edges so you need to do on all other four sides so double click on, sorry select this vertex and shift select this vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so do same thing on the side select this one and shift select this one shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so do same thing over here so now when I double click on this edge so it will flow all the way because this corner edge will flow upwards so when I press 3 in keyboard so now this edge has much sharper so this is way to fix this example 4 ok now select the example 5 and press F to focus so in this example little bit different we need to maintain this corner edge as loop but when I double click on this edge it will stop over here because this edge will not flow upwards also in bottom side and we also facing for this face you will face lot of ingons so that means this face has lot of edges so we need to fix first of all select this face and shift select this face shift right click and choose extrude face you need to scale in this direction and also in X now I need to fix this edge manually so I will select this both edge and press W I will move on this side right click and choose vertex select this vertex I will move on this side so do same thing over here right click I will select this 3 edge move in Z right click and choose vertex I will select this vertex and move in Z select this one and move in Z select this one and move in Z so now I fix like this so I will select all this vertex move little bit in Z so like this so don't bother about on bottom side after we completing our top region we will mirror it on bottom side now we need to fix this end gowns see here when I double click on this edge so the edge will be flow all the way it will maintain perfect edge loop or mesh flow so because this corner edge will be flow upwards now we need to fix this ngons using multi cut tool shift right click and choose multi cut tool I will select on this vertex and click on here and right click so select here here click on here and right click so I will right click and choose vertex so I want to make it straight So now shift right click and choose multi cut tool select this one and select this one and right click click on here click on here right click so click on here click on here right click so click on here click on here right click click on here click on here right click click on here here right click so click on here so you want to make it straight so you need to go over here and right click so now we need to fix over here click on here click on here click on here 
and right click so click on here click on here click on here and right click so click on here click on here click on here and right click click on here click on here and right click click on here click on here click on here and right click so now I fix all the end cones but see here here we need to fix the end cones select this one click on here click on here and right click so don't select this corner because we have one two three and four edge so also here don't select this corner and use multi cut tool because we have perfect quad on the side now we fix all the end cones in all the sides so now we need to make a mirror for opposite side so shift right click in object mode shift right click and choose insert edge loop option box use multiple edge loop and choose number of edge loop to 1 so I will close this tool settings when I click on this one it will happen on exact center now right click and choose object mode go to front view press F to focus so I will delete all my back face and press delete now right click and go to object mode when the object selected go to mesh and choose mirror so I want to mirror in Y so change my axis to Y so see here now it's fixed when I double click on this edge and shift right click and choose delete edge now I double click on this edge and shift to double click on this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge and view fraction to 0 0.1 and segments to 2 so now it's fixed perfect when I press 3 in keyboard so it will smooth perfect so and also we will clear lot of end cones when I double click on the sage and shift to double click on the sage the corner edge will be flowing all the way it's called mesh flow and it will be in perfect topology okay now you understand about basic ideas of topology my point of view topology means you need to maintain this corner edge loop corner edge must be in loop so I hope you like it here I find some examples for topology so in this example you need to maintain perfect topology over here when you model this one when I double click on this edge the edge will be flow all the way to this direction so in in this example if you model this when I double click on this corner edge the topology be sorry the edge loop must be flow on this direction so in this example when you model this one when I double click on this edge the mesh flow or topology will be flow on this direction if you do any model remember this one the corner edge must be in loop I hope you like it I see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model and texture the used eraser in Maya 2017 using Arnold render engine it's really helpful to learn perfect UV and texturing.